What is up everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about whether or not God has revealed himself to us. And if God has revealed himself to us, can we know him? How's it going everybody? My name is Adam and welcome to The Transformed Life. In my last video, I gave reasonable and logical explanations on how we can know God is real. So in this video, I'm going to be building off that fact that we can know God is real and show you three ways God has revealed himself to us and how we can know him. So number one is creation. Romans 1.20 says, For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made. So God reveals himself by the things that are created. And I think that is clearly seen when you think about things like the mountain ranges, the oceans, the rivers, the lakes, the all the beautiful creation that God has put in front of our eyes. We are without excuse because we look around at the things around us, how the magnitude and the glory of the things that are made that we can't help but to praise and honor God and be grateful for his creation. Even though many people try to deny creation, we cannot deny it. It is too great, too marvelous, too wonderful that even the atheist must glorify God in his creation. Number two is our conscience. Romans 2.15 says they demonstrate that God's law is written on their hearts for their own conscience and their thoughts either accuse them or tell them they are doing right. We know deep down inside, whether we admit it or not, that there is a God. And this is made manifest to us by our own actions and our thoughts on what is right and wrong. We touched on this in our last video, how objective morality proves that God is real. We know what is right and wrong. We know what is good and evil. We know that if we go out and murder someone, that we deserve a just punishment. So in the same way that God has revealed himself to us by his creation, he has revealed his character to us through our conscience. We know that it is good to love our neighbor. We know that it is good to feed the poor. We know that it is good to sacrifice ourselves for those around us. And we only know this is good, objectively good, because God has revealed it in our hearts. Now, last but certainly not least, God has revealed himself through Jesus. Colossians 1.15 says that Jesus is the image of the invisible God. John 1.18 says that the only begotten Son has declared the Father. And Jesus said in John 14.9 that he who has seen me has seen the Father. It is because of Jesus that we know that God has unconditional love. For us it is because of Jesus we know that no matter what we've done no matter how much sin is in our life that we can come before the Father without spot and blemish because of what Jesus did it is because of Jesus that we know that God did not want to condemn the world but to save the world so Jesus perfectly reveals who God is in the heart of God to us and not only that it allows us to know God and to have a relationship with God because Jesus is the mediator the only true high priest between us and the Father he is the one who closes that gap who makes us righteous and sinless not because of our own doing but because of what Jesus did on the cross we are able to be perfect and holy in relationship with God which is how we were supposed to be at the beginning of time. So not only do we know for a fact that there is a God, we know that God has revealed himself to us through his creation, through our conscience, and through the Lord Jesus Christ. Turn to Jesus, put your faith in Jesus, lay all your sin at the altar, and come before the God who loves you and wants to have a relationship with you. God bless.